previously on Survivor. Welcome to Survivor, Maryland, everybody. <laughs> 16 new players began their journey to become Maryland's next sole survivor. And right away, Harry and Sierra volunteered to be leaders for their tribes. Hi, Mom. At the first challenge, the Rafiki tribe dominated, setting Hukatana to their first tribal council. Guys, when it comes down to it, we have five people. On the first day, an alliance of five led by Harry came together to take out Charlie, who they viewed as the weakest link. But both Zack and Terry became crucial swing votes between the two alliances on the tribe. There's a lot more strategy in this game than I'd previously imagined. And they cemented their status in the middle of the tribe by forming a tight two alliance. And we're kind of in the same position because in our strong alliance of five, uh, there is a three quidditch and then it's me and Zack. But ultimately, it was Charlie's weakness in the first challenge that sent him packing as the first one out of the game. Charlie, the tribe has spoken. 15 are left, and only one can claim the title of sole survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Previously on Survivor. On Rafiki, Eric created an alliance with three of the girls. I'm basically just trying to go as far as I can by any means. Like, I'll, I'll backstab anyone I have to, even if they're on my alliance. While Maria, Alex, and Matt made an alliance of their own. I think Alex, Matt, and I may be the only three who really knew each other before. At the blindfold challenge, Hukatana celebrated their first win. And on the losing Rafiki, Sabrina was frustrated by Maria's calling. She was just doing horrible, horrible navigating, I feel like. But later that day, an awkward dinner put the target on Sabrina as well. Sabrina has already shown how she is, how she lives her life. I don't know why Eric wants her in our alliance. When the four-man alliance decided on Matt, Kane and Sierra became the key swing votes. But at Tribal Council, they both felt connected to Eric and voted out Matt. Unfortunately, I already have an alliance, and I gotta stay st stay loyal with them for at least a little while. Matt, tribe has spoken. Sending Matt home as the second person out of the game. Fourteen are left, and only one can claim the title of sole survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Previously on Survivor. <laughs> Homewrecker Alliance, can that be our title, just Homewreckers? Eric, Marissa, and Sabrina cemented their alliance, while Maria tried to rally support against them. I think Eric's, like, masterminding. Maria and Kane. Hmm, I wonder what's going on there. It hasn't even been five minutes, Sabrina's down! After Sabrina collapsed in the challenge, there was a huge target against her. It's, it's really unfortunate, yeah, but it's just like... She fucked up, man. She really did, like... Hopefully that doesn't make him think that I'm against him. But Eric turned the ties against his former ally, Sierra. She was talking about maybe possibly voting Kanae out because she wants Sabrina for numbers. Kanae thinks that Sierra wanted to vote for him, but in reality, I just made that up. And that tribal council, tensions between Maria and Sabrina heated up. That was up. all for Maria because she also royally fucked up the challenge. Sorry. Yeah. But anyways. At least I'll I did better than you. Holy <laughs> <laughs> shit. But Kanae ultimately swung to Eric's side. More of a strategic move. It's not all about who's the fittest. Sierra, the tribe has spoken. Thirteen are left, and only one can claim the title of sole survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Previously on Survivor. Are you gonna bring Terry? The thing is, I don't know how much to trust Terry. Paluke, Victoria, and Zach cemented their alliance, but Zach and Terry kept a tight two of their own. And Zach built on his power on his tribe when he found the hidden immunity idol. There you go, right here. After Rafiki lost yet again, Kane tried to convince Eric and Marissa that it was wise to finally vote out Sabrina. Voting on Sabrina is going to help us win more than voting off Maria. But nobody budged, and after a 3 3 tie, Kane flipped his vote. Sorry, I tried to help you sending Maria packing. Maria, the tribe has spoken. Twelve are left, and only one can claim the title of sole survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Previously on Survivor. 
Holly and Faluke made long-term plans for the game. Girl, that'll be me, you, and Victoria making it to the final three if we can get all the guys out. And after Rafiki ended their three-challenge losing streak, Hukatana was forced to go back to Tribal. You and Zach talked afterwards? Yeah, and I want to try to beat Victoria. Harry and Katie felt secure in their plan to take out the rest of the tribe. I will say this, Katie is going to the finals with me. However, we still but, want him to fight hard for our yeah, team, but, and we want to have his inside data. So, and okay. Holly. With Holly on board to turn on her Quidditch alliance, a plan was devised to take out Harry's closest ally in Katie. Well, so she's going to vote so for he's not going to freak out as much. You know what I mean? And at Tribal Council, it became clear that Katie and Harry were unaware of the plan. I hope that whoever gets voted off realizes that we love them anyway, and it's just something that we had to do. Katie, the tribe has spoken. Eleven are left, but only one can claim the title of sole survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Previously on Survivor. Faluke found a hidden immunity idol. Congratulations! Oh my god! Oh my god. Yo. But when she found out it was Rafiki's idol, she knew there was one more out there. Which also concerns me because that means someone on our team still might have, damn it, had the idol. Well, at least I have this one, but this makes it far more complicated. When the tribes were swapped just hours later, Faluke was able to keep the idol on her new tribe and the new Rafiki tribe suffered a loss in the challenge. I think he's from his yeah. obviously from challenges and then she's got connections on yeah. the other side. Terry and Victoria tried to leverage the old Hukatana numbers to take out Sabrina, while Sabrina built her relationship with Zach to try to stay in the game. Yeah. Sabrina, the tribe has spoken. But in the end, Sabrina had no say in the new tribe, and she was taken out of the game. Ten are left, but only one can claim the title of Soul Survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Previously on Survivor. I was like, oh, this is so cute. Like, where'd you get it from? And he said it was his roommate's. Faluke thought she had seen an idol in Zach's room. It was in Zach's room. Zach has the hidden immunity idol, and I'm about to throw down. And when she got a moment alone, she took it. But Zack still had possession of his idol, leaving Faluke mistaken that she had two, when in reality she had one real idol and Zack's roommate's necklace. With Victoria and Faluke at his side, Terry staged a fake find of an idol in front of Eric. And while he did probably figure out that we're all in an alliance, he also probably believes that we found the hidden immunity idol. That kind of has me worried that there's a possible alliance between those three, and I think that they did find the idol. Seventh person voted out of Survivor Terrapin Trials, Kane. At Rafiki's tribal, the old Hukatana three stuck together and asked Kane. Kane, tribe is spoken. Nine are left, but only one can claim the title of sole survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Previously on Survivor. I hope you all brought your appetite because it's time to enjoy your merch cake. Yes! The two tribes merged into one, leaving Eric as a huge target. I know basically probably the first challenge I lose, I'm going to get voted out. One, two, three, Eric wins immunity! When Eric's win kept him off the block, Alex became the swing vote between multiple sides. We can get far in this. Zach has given me the tood lately. Oh, I, I was joking about Zach, but he wanted to go for me. <laughs> so everyone basically has decided that we're all going to vote for Zach. So we're about to go in there and tell him to his face. I, I mean, at this point, he can't really do anything about it, so it could just be fun to throw the entire thing into chaos. But when Alex overplayed his hand, the tables were turned. I think Alex literally thinks he's invincible right now because everyone's trying to get his vote. Yo, if we do vote for Alex, though, we have five. What? Oh, Holly. Holly will vote for him. Ooh, true. At Tribal Council, Alex seemed unaware that the plans had changed. Who feels like they're in danger tonight? It's Harry. Luke, Zach, Terry, Victoria, everyone but Alex and Marissa. It's really funny that you didn't feel like you were in danger tonight. And Alex was blindsided. Eighth person voted out of Survivor Terra from Trials. Alex. Leaving the six original Hukatanas intact. Eight are left, but only one can claim the title of Soul Survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? 
previously on Survivor. Just know we have your back. Yeah, I That's appreciate what being that. in I want you to know that about. I truly appreciate it. You're welcome. Faluke, Victoria, and Zach reaffirmed their alliance. And the Hukatanas grew stronger when Holly defeated Eric in the immunity challenge. Yeah. You are yeah. safe from the vote. Yeah, cannot be voted out. You are guaranteed in the final seven of this game. So we don't know if Eric has the item. So You're going to split the vote? Split the vote. You know he is. With Eric as the clear target, Terry devised a plan to split the vote on the two Rafikis, but it was met with resistance. Guys vote Eric, girls vote Marissa. Yeah, we have it. five people here. Sorry. Who's Victoria? Oh, Victoria. It was extremely frustrating. People could not understand it after like four times of explaining it. Knowing he was in trouble, Eric scrambled to hatch a plan with Victoria and Faluke. I mean, I basically owe you my life. This is the way Like, I'll vote. Whatever no, you want, like, if you vote for me next time I win any of these like any challenges, I'll give you their idol. But Victoria felt that Eric was deceiving them. If I find out that you've been backstabbing me or telling me things that you're telling other people, I am not going to trust you. And that's that's what it is. And despite the vote split plan, she put an extra vote on Eric. You lied to multiple people and unfortunately it is now your time to go. Sending Eric home and leaving Marissa as the last Rafiki standing. Seven are left, but only one can claim the title of Soul Survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Previously on Survivor. Welcome to Welcome. the final two. Uh. <laughs> Faluke was juggling two competing final two deals. In my mind, I don't really know who's my number two. Fearing the physical strength of the guys, an all-girls alliance formed. This is three boys. Clutch. We can literally pick them off one by one. But Victoria had doubts. I don't. I'm not like fully on board, just because I don't really trust Holly. After a superlatives challenge revealed a lot about the players' perceptions, Terry and Harry started to feud. I'm sorry about no worries, no worries. No, I know Fred sucked. Dude. Leaving the girls with a choice between Harry the physical threat and Terry the mental threat. The whole time Terry's been playing this act, I guess, that he's like really busy and he doesn't care that much about Survivor. I'm pretty sure that's a really big act. And besides Holly keeping an old promise with Harry. You already know I'm voting for you. Sorry. The group unanimously sent him home. Harry, the tribe has spoken. Six are left but only one can claim the title of Soul Survivor. Who will be voted out tonight? Previously on Survivor. After Harry's elimination, the four girls alliance had control of the game. So far, we literally have not gone good. Everything is gone according, according to plan. plan. I think if my alliance stays together, it'll be cake. It'll be a cakewalk to the Final two. And after Victoria won immunity, they put the target on Zach. Zach just needs to go. Um, I still don't even know if he knows that I have his idol. One, two, two three, three, final, final three. three. Yes. All right. Holly, Faluke, and I, we said we would be final three, but then, you know, the last two are the ones that are actually getting voted for. But right before Tribal, Victoria blew up the plan and made a new one with Zach. I have the hidden immunity. Oh my gosh, oh my god, I thought so. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, but Luke will trust me, and Zach and Terry will also trust me. So you know, it's a win-win for me. It's just freaking me out. Like, there's there are items out there. Holly, breathe. No, it's breathe. Why not just put the Why not just put the votes first? But when Holly panicked at the last minute, Victoria was forced to make her side known. I would like. At Tribal, Zack stunned Faluke by pulling out a real idol. All votes cast for Zack will not count. But ultimately, Victoria's flip provided the true blind 11 side. 11 person vote out of Survivor Terrapin Trials. Holly, that's three. That's enough tonight. Well, Victoria. Five are left, but only one can claim the title of Soul Survivor. Who will be voted out? tonight. But Holly's blindside only fueled the chaos that was to come. This is why the feminist movement can't get started. This is why women remain inferior to men in societal view is because they split up. Zach wins immunity. When Zach kept himself off the block, the trio of Victoria, Zach, and Terry 
had to figure out how to work around Feluke is idle. I just don't think that she wants to make herself vulnerable like that. But Victoria flipped back again, revealing the entire plan to Feluke to build back her trust. I was thinking you and Marissa vote for Terry, and then I vote with the boys so they don't think... They think that everything is still... And just minutes before Tribal, Terry and Zack further complicated the situation by talking to Fluke themselves, setting off a crazy Tribal Council that featured Zack forcing a tie, Fluke revealing her idol shenanigans. The one that I saw from Jackson. Why would you do that? You're literally crazy. And the girls switching their vote from Terry to Victoria at the last second. Eleventh person voted on a survivor, and the fifth member of our jury, Marissa. But the vote was ultimately decided by Feluke going rogue, playing the idol on herself, which sent her closest ally left packing. It's gonna be a hard find to the final two. Grab your stuff, head back. Nice. Find out who will win the title of Maryland's third sole survivor tonight.